Hi, Marco here. How do you run your build with specific build agent types? So say, for example, in TeamCity Cloud, you only want to use the more powerful Linux large instances for your build. Let's find out how. Now, when you open up the Agents tab, then in TeamCity Cloud, you'll find you'll have the predefined Linux large agent, agents, medium agents, small ones, extra large ones. When you open up extra large, for example, you'll find a tab called Agent Parameters. And that tab lists a couple of system properties, for example, that define an agent. So for example, agent.name refers to Linux large and then instance and then a couple of X's, which will be replaced at runtime to identify your build agent. You'll also find like an EC2 instance type C5D 4X large, which is quite a powerful machine. Now, what you want to do is you want to tell your build configurations, hey, only use agents which have these parameters defined, specific parameters defined, or so-called agent requirements. For that, remember agent name is a system property, and this is your Linux large value. Go back, edit your build configuration. You'll find a section called agent requirements here. And then you have a couple of checkboxes for easy requirements, like choosing between Linux and Windows agents, but you can also always add explicit requirements. Click add a new requirement. Remember it was a system uh, parameter. So system dot, you'll be greeted with a dropdown list, system agent name in this case. You'll also find the EC2 specific uh, parameters here. So let's go with name and then let's go with starts with the name, well, starts with not the XXX or the full value, but it actually starts with, let me replace that, just like that, right? Click Save. Go back to your build overview and just simply run a new build. Now let's see what's going to happen, because as you can see down here, the last two builds were ran on Linux small agents. And now hopefully we're going to see a extra large agents booting up in a second. All right, as you can see, that worked. A Linux extra large instance was booted up and um, is used to run that build, whereas before there were just Linux small instances being used. So the takeaway is, remember there's agent requirements and you can set them to whatever you want, by name, by EC2 instance type, by CPU cores, by whatever property or even environment variable is set on your build agents. That's about it. Bye.